you guys, Sachi from The Sandy and the Salty here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own mood board. So first you want to open up your Microsoft PowerPoint, click on a plain presentation, go ahead and select the text boxes that automatically populate, and delete them. Now we're going to use Google Images to search for our pictures that we want to include in our mood board. So I'm going to do my bedroom. So I'm going to look for a wooden bed frame. Alright, I'm going to go to Images. And I'm going to look for a bed frame that looks like something that I want to put in my room. Alright, so this one looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the image, copy the image, and now I'm going to go back to PowerPoint and we're going to paste the image. Select it, go to up here to format picture and do remove background. All right, so I'm going to enlarge this image a little bit. That becomes automatically selected. Whatever is purple is going to get deleted. So it seems to have recognized that it wants to keep this part of the photo. So actually I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to keep pressing my cursor see how it turns red and makes a little minus symbol that means it's going to get deleted all right so now that I've got my image oh actually I want to add this bed post back so let's go ahead and add it back all right sometimes it can get a little tricky to work with but okay that'll have to do I'm gonna press enter and there we go we have the bed frame so I'm gonna shrink this down and put it in the middle of my room I'm gonna go back to Google Images. Now I'm gonna look for some bedside tables. And I'm gonna put one bedside table on each side of my bed. So this one looks good. So let's right click this, copy image, back to my bedroom, paste. All right, I'm gonna remove the background again. Perfect, press enter. I'm gonna shrink this down actually going to copy and I'm going to paste another one right here on this side. I'm sorry for the loud clicking. I don't have a small mouse to use, so it's probably really annoying in your ear. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to add some wall art. Let's do wall art. <laughs> what would look good in there? This would look kind of cool. Let's do that. So again, right click, copy image. Let's go back here and paste, format picture, remove background. I'm gonna shrink this down. I wanna add these back. There we go, I'm gonna press enter. And I'm gonna, see how this image suddenly looks so large? You can crop this extra space out of the way so it's easier to work with if you want. Let's just crop that down. Yep, press enter. We're gonna shrink this. We're gonna move it. Perfect, all right. So let's go ahead and add some rugs. Not some rugs, one rug. Um, let's do a blue rug. This rug looks good. And again, we're gonna right click, copy image. And now I'm going to paste the image already looks like it was actually kind of cropped for us. So I want to show you how to move this rug behind all the other images um, in this PowerPoint presentation. You probably already know how to do it, but if not, you right click, you're going to arrange, you're going to send to back. All right, so now it's behind my bed. I'm also going to rotate 90 degree, oh, not that one. I'm going to select the rug and I'm going to rotate right 90 degrees. Okay, and now I'm just going to kind of move the rug down where I want it. Perfect. And let's add a plant. You guys kind of get the idea, right? Indoor plant. Let's go ahead and add something like that image go back here let's paste our image here that's huge Rem format picture remove background let's enlarge
enlarge the area that we want it to save just a little bit more. Let's get rid of that part of the, the image. Press enter, and there you go. Now we've got an awesome, awesome plant for our mood board. So creating a mood board is really, really easy. Um, the main thing to remember when you're making your mood board is um, to remove this background right here, and that's, that's the key. Um, so now that you've kind of got your mood board created, you can save it. So you go to File, Save, and then there you go. That is how you make a mood board.